Chapter 5 of the Hindu Book of Astrology. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Jill Preston. The Hindu Book of Astrology by Bhakti Siva. Chapter 5. Taurus. All persons born from April 20th to May 19, inclusive, were born under the sign of Taurus. This is the head sign of the earth triplicity, and the Taurus people, naturally living in the realm of their sensations and emotions, must give great heed to doing certain things, or else they will suffer much. In the first place, you must control your appetites and passions. I know you are generous and like to entertain your friends with good dinners, but don't do too much of it as you often place them in an embarrassing position as they are not able to always return your kind and generous favors. Taurus people can amass great fortunes if they are true to their higher nature, which is to be large-minded, broad, and liberal in all they do. It is easier for you to make money than it is to save it. I would advise you to get into the habit of saving a little money regularly for a rainy day, although the true developed Taurus person will see few, if any, rainy days. You are naturally strong intellectually and ought to cultivate your mind by wide and extensive reading. Some great writers, public speakers, preachers, and lecturers come out of your sign. It does not make much difference what profession or line of work you choose. You will be very successful in it, provided you will put all of your mind, heart, and soul into it. In other words, your success depends upon being earnestly enthusiastic over anything you have underway. You are a natural-born leader and must not allow others to dictate to you what to do. Don't be proud, vain, or arrogant, or even dictatorial, but go along quietly, carrying out whatever plans you may have in hand and which seem right to you, without permitting anyone to influence your course of procedure. Your inner self, the true man, will decide better what to do than anyone else can. In love matters, social attainments, and leadership, you will excel, providing you will be guided by what I write here. Practice silence and patience, and don't think or talk much about what a great person you are. Realize quietly that you are great, but avoid being egotistical, and then you will be very charming, fascinating, magnetic, and hypnotic, drawing to yourself all the good things of the universe. At all times, you must have self-control and understand if you cannot control yourself, you cannot help or control others. And what is best of all, control and use to your great advantage the good and wonderful planetary forces and solar fluids which surround all Taurus people. Mildness, gentleness, and consideration for others whom you feel are inferior to yourself will make you a wonderful man or woman. Women of this sign must not be overbearing and dictatorial, but gentle, mild, and calm, and then they will wield a tremendous force. Anyone who is not self-control is not reliable and does not inspire confidence or respect. Taurus people, as a rule, have a natural tendency to eat and drink too much, and by not curbing their appetites, bring on disease, depression, morbid and melancholy feelings, the blues. Whenever you feel blue or dejected, fast for a day or stop eating and drinking so much. Keep cool and quiet and you will soon recover your spirits and be bright and cheerful. Always look upon the opposite sex with pure minds, for overwhelming disaster now and then comes to the Taurus person who is not pure in mind with respect to the opposite sex. Your great force and power is in making your higher nature rule and dominate your lower nature, 
your brutal instincts. When in passion, Taurus, the bull, people often rip and tear about what the madness of an infuriated bull. You should always be on your guard to not let your angry passions rise and make you ridiculous to all who see you perform. Anger is very weakening and always destroys charm of character. No one can love one who gets angry spells. One of the worst faults of the Taurus sign is anger. Many a person can trace misfortune, sickness, and even failure to a spell of anger. Madness and anger are the signs of an unbalanced mind indeed. It is often the sign or forerunner of insanity. Don't be too exacting, arbitrary, or domineering, and understand others have rights which must be respected. Naturally, no matter how careful you may be to avoid it, you will have your own way, especially when your way is the right and true way. Taurus men must not be harsh or cruel to their wives, but kind and loving. If you are a married man and disobey this command of the yogis, you will suffer greatly. Women is the grandest and best being in the world. She is not the weaker vessel, but is by all odds the finest organization in the universe. In India, woman stands at the head of creation. Many Hindus worship God as mother of mankind, not father. Woman should command our highest love and highest respect. All Taurus people will find much happiness in marriage, especially if the marriage is blessed with children. Many a man in this sign has reached his highest success after marriage. In love affairs, you can be very successful if you will exercise mildness, gentleness, and patience. Now, remember, you can be mighty, great, and good, happy and prosperous only when you conquer your lower nature. The greatest of all conquests is the conquest of self. This sign is governed by Venus. The gems are moss agate and emerald. The astral colors are red and lemon yellow. The diseases which you are most likely to suffer from are heart troubles, dropsy, tumors, and sometimes apoplexy and brain disorders. Your best companions are those born under Capricorn and Libra. People born in this sign usually have full faces, wide noses and mouths, shining flesh inclined to readiness, and are generally powerfully built. May the peace and blessings of the Blessed One and all the Divas, Angels, and all the Yogis of the Universe be ever with you, dear sister or brother of Taurus. Bhakti Siva. Cusps. If your first breath was drawn, when one sign was taking the place of another, you will partake of the characteristics of both signs. Hence, you belong to the cusp. The residence in a sign consists of six days. Any time less endows one with some of the qualities of the preceding sign. The cusp of Aries through Taurus, April 19th to 25. These natives have a wiry, tenacious nature and show remarkable strength in all mental conditions. It is their nature to load their friends and neighbors with good things to wear and good things to eat. They are fond of the very best things, have good taste, and their beneficiaries are in luck. The impulse of the sex is strong, and they are apt to make unhappy marriages. Their natural tendencies are toward the very highest heights. But if the native of this sign decides to touch the bottom of dissipation and sensuality, he will do so. They are called the children of the four horns on account of their invincible determination to win. The ram is fearless and busy. The bull is fearless and dominant. The natives of this cuss are liable to think they know it all and are given to inflict their advice upon their families and associates. Their capacity is unbounded, and they are born rulers. End of Chapter 5, recording by Jill Preston.